Uh, Mark. Yes. Woo! Woo! Uh, Chris Crowley. Castillo, come back. <laughs> well, funny you should ask. Chris Castillo and Bobby, come back, Mark. Uh, I don't know. Anything's possible. <laughs> I'm just waiting for season eight to be renamed O Crowley. It should be. Sure. So Crowley finally got his hands on Kevin in the season seven finale. Could you please rephrase that? <laughs> Crowley finally took Kevin. This is not going very well, guys. At the end of season seven. Yeah. Um, what's next? What's his plan? Well, you know, I know anything is possible, but... What's next? What's his plan? Well, what's he gonna do with Kevin? He's good at all. Trust him. <laughs> Leading question. Look, Crowley is essentially Rephrase what happens... That one, Mark. <laughs> Crowley is essentially what happens when people aren't paying attention. <laughs> That's, That's true. Is. Yeah. I mean, I think... I think the relationship that, that, that the boys have had with, uh, with Crowley is, you know, I think it's been a rather good one. It's been fruitful and, and kind and compassionate. It's been reciprocal, reciprocal, I think. Yeah, pretty reciprocal, I think. Yeah. I mean, I gave them stuff and then I got stuff. Yeah, certainly so. Well, can you rephrase that, please? <laughs> uh, but I think I think we might be in a situation this year. If I'm, I think I'm right to say that we might be in a situation in this this year where we're kind of chasing after the same thing. So yes. this could be a bit of a problem. This would be a season where you guys end up because it's remarkable how many times they've fallen into non-antagonistic relationships with the King of Hell. It's you know, it's cleverness on the part of the writers. I like to think. <laughs> This is a situation where the, uh, the, they're really going to come to a much more antagonistic kind of front with each other. I mean, Crawley has to shore up his camp, and he is actually the one who thinks ahead more than any other character in the universe of our... I don't think the Angels even really handled it as, better, as well as he's done. So he is going to be an issue. Probably uh, quite, a, quite a titanic one. I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, oh, Crowley, basically. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I, was, I had a sentence and then I just started to hear myself talk and then I was just like, and then I saw the top of my head. <laughs> just stream of consciousness. Okay. Sorry, did that answer your question? Good enough. Okay. What? That wasn't good enough? Wait a minute. Oh, I hear you now. <laughs> you really are kind of a character on this show, aren't you? I, I get no screen time. <laughs> I get no screen time. Um, uh, Jeremy and Ben, uh, we hear one of the, the theme, if, if for lack of a better word, for, for this season is Raiders of the Lost Ark. So tell us a little bit more about what that, what that is. What does that mean in, for the show? Well, I mean, it, it, uh, can't go into it too much, but suffice to say, a lot of seasons past, the boys have been reacting to things at the beginning of a season. And I think this year, for the first time in a long time, they are starting the season on offense, as it were. They really want something. It ties in very deeply with the mythology, the overall or overarching mythology of the, the show itself and something that is very near and dear uh, to their hearts. And um, so notwithstanding all the luggage they bring from their time apart from each other, they are uh, very much united in going after this one thing. Our, uh, our like, log line for this season was, this time it's personal, except for then there was this shark movie that had that. I think, or Jaws 4 actually had that. Anyway. Continue. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I, I think Ben had his espresso this morning. <laughs> I don't have my help. I can stop. I, I don't know. Gary, this is helping me. I, <laughs> I don't suppose you could hint at what this one thing is. It's one thing. Um, it's the no, Ark of the Covenant. I, don't, I, I think uh, you know, we know it has to do with. Um, <laughs> we know that for I sure. I just broke down here on stage. I apologize. <laughs> I, um, uh, 
the buzzer went off my back. No, I, I think I have to do that right now. I think I have Crowley, to Crowley, Kevin, Dean, Sam, they're all involved in a chase for, a, you know, a, a power source, ultimately. We won't be clear about it, but this season, like all others, will introduce a game-changing element that we've already seen hints of. But um, we have a roller coaster, and we're going to get you on it. It's it's strange to try and unpack a roller coaster at the beginning of the roller coaster. That's why they have the part that goes up, so you can go down. It's <laughs> 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 a roller coaster. It's got wheels and tracks and all that shit. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Uh, why don't we uh, open it up to fan questions now? Woo! <clears throat> Just maybe um, we'd do better if we let the fans answer. <laughs> yeah. So just uh, say your name. Hi, my name's Francis. Uh, hi, everybody. Hello. Um, hi, Francis. Uh, my question is for the producers, writers. And I was wondering if the show um, is ever going to address the fact that as brothers, Sam and Dean look nothing alike. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Dan, you were cooking up an episode about just that, weren't you? What's that? Uh, that was going to deal with that? It, it's got a whole Inuit um, storyline. <laughs> Here's the thing. If, if I were to grow my hair this long, you couldn't tell us apart. That's right. <laughs> That's how it came to the Long audition. Hair. That's why it all worked out. You had the hair like that. That's it. Precisely. See, it's. And this is what you're left with. I apologize, but. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering if, in the event of an apocalypse, zombie, crow, toan, or otherwise, who would die first? <laughs> who would you team up with? And who would survive? Ooh. This is like that game where it's like marry, kill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Choose your words wisely. <laughs> words I have. There's a sign that says right here, there may be audience members under the age of 18. There is that sign. Uh, I, I didn't... I'll go back. I don't care. Uh, what? It's, it's, it's like Jerry Springer now. He's yelling stuff out. Uh, uh, did anybody, would anybody like to take that one? No. 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 <laughs> We've had apocalypses. Apocalypse I? How do you pluralize apocalypse? <laughs> Can you apocalypse? <laughs> We've already had several apocalypse. Doesn't uh, sound right. And only a Jim died. That, yeah. <laughs> that one of the three humans would die first. Right. Jim so, would die first, and then he would be resurrected within 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm wearing the red shirt. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the, there is no such thing as a plural of apocalypse. I mean, they're very apocalypse. Is there only one? Apocalypse. I mean, it's a bloody event. Isn't it? <laughs> It's a single event. You can't have plurals of apocalypse. Then what's an apocalypse? <laughs> Answer a simple question. What is an apocalypse? It's a creature on Doctor Who. How many? <laughs> okay. Next question. Hi. Um... How would you pluralize apocalypse? <laughs> Apocalyptic pie? <laughs> <laughs> That's eight apocalypses together. Oh. That's eight apocalypses. <laughs> next one, next one. Apocalypticalypses, yeah. Um, my name is Jaycee. Bye. Hi, um, Hi Jaycee. Hi. I just wanted to say, first of all, Jensen, um, you're the reason I'm pursuing acting, so thank you. <laughs> um, 
So if, like, if they can get jobs, I can do this. <laughs> don't have to be that talented to you. This is refreshing news. That's really mean of you to say, JC. That's really mean to your guest. Aww. I'm just teasing. Okay. Um, my question is, if your character could have a superhero or villain name, what would it be? And I'm going to take a chance with this, but Dean always takes those, so can I have you? Aww. I don't know if she got cut off though. You could you got cut off. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> um su super superhero names, anybody? Apocalyptic guy. <laughs> Apocalyptic guy. <laughs> Captain Thunderpants. <laughs> Captain Thunderpants. <laughs> nice. I think uh, at one point, uh, one character too called many you. Uh, from. <laughs> Sorry. Too many rattling up in here, yeah, i got to be honest with you. I'm trying to think of clean one. Ben, uh, I really want to hear you. There was yeah. one point <laughs> no, no, where you were, uh, one episode you were called Chisel Chest, and I think that works pretty well. Chisel Chest. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Woo! That was the ghost faces. I'll take that. Dang, Ben. Thank you. I thought Jeremy was the one who always took my shirt off, but I guess Ben is too. Moose Man. I would be ass butt butt. That's like ass butt, but I have other qualities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jay Z.